Studies in the last decade have shown that when you have positive emotions and happiness and well-being and you develop these things, you become more successful in many other areas of your life. And even to this day, and for a long time, people have thought the opposite. In order to be happy, you have to achieve a certain level of success or well-being uh, or status, and then you can be happy, which just is foolish on numerous accounts. First, describing success as only money, and then pretty much saying that you have to be depressed until you get there. However, in this video, I want to share with you the top five things I learned from this book, The Happiness Advantage, in regards to what I just talked about. And trust me, it aligns with a lot of what I've discovered in terms of studying the most successful business people, including someone like uh, Richard Branson. He said in his book that uh, if you want success, you want to pursue happiness and get happiness first. Or you can look at the billionaire Ted Leonsis, who wrote a whole book on that same concept. Although it wasn't really scientifically based, it was just on his own experiences and him running his uh, company, which made him a billionaire. And uh, his book is called The Business of Happiness. Anyhow, let's get started. So the first thing I learned was from a study. It was a study of 180 Catholic nuns. And they tracked these nuns throughout their entire lives until they died. And they tracked them through diary entries that they wrote. They found that the ones who were more happy lived much longer and were much healthier. Now, does it just end there? I would say no because I don't think it's conclusive because it's kind of like cause does not mean effect. They're not, uh, that doesn't mean that they're correlated in that way. It's not a cause and effect. It just means there may be some level of correlation there. So I don't want to go too deep into uh, statistics. So we don't know which causes which, but there seems to be some form of correlation there. Second study, this is number two. There were 200 scientific studies that were examined to write this book, and that covered over 275,000 people. Let me say that again, 275,000 people. And throughout all these studies, they found that each of them found that happiness led to some greater level of success in almost every domain imagined. From marriage to health to uh, your creativity to your career to your friendship to your business and so on. The third thing I learned was that um, further studies showed that positive emotions helped widen your scope and range to open up your perceptive, your creativity, and your cognition. The fourth thing I learned was from uh, similar studies that showed that the exact opposite was uh, true for negative emotions. When you are negative and you have negative emotions going about, guess what occurs? The exact opposite. You narrow your focus, your perception, your creative creativity and your cognition all get narrowed and you do worse. There, uh, and the fifth thing I learned was that in a University of Toronto study, they found that people who were primed to be positive versus people that were primed to be negative before an experiment behaved and acted and caught many different things on a cognitive eye tracking experiment. The ones who were positive and happy caught almost everything, whereas those who were primed to be negative missed out on some of the most fundamental things that they should have caught. So those are the five things I learned, and I encourage you to also watch my video on the five things I learned about how you can become happier and develop positive emotions and well-being right now which was also learned from this book. So check out that um, video as well. It will be released soon. And that one's more on how you can develop happiness rather than why. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you on that video.